What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and we're at CES 2013 at the Lenovo tent and I have Brooks here and he's going to kind of explain the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Uh, yeah, so this is our X1 Carbon Touch. So uh, basically it's a carbon fiber constructed ultrabook, uh, 20 millimeters thin and it's the world's lightest 14 inch touch ultrabook. So 10 finger multi-touch, Core i5, i7 processors, and it's only 3.4 pounds. Okay, and this is available now? This is available now, uh, and its starting price is $14.99. So this is our ThinkPad tablet too. Uh, this is the world's lightest uh, Win8 Pro tablet. It's 585 grams, which is about 1.2 pounds, and we like to say the perfect 10 with this device. So three tens to think about with this device. It's a 10.1 inch HD screen, it's got 10 hours of battery life, and it's less than 10 millimeters thick. Okay, and this is available now as this well? It's currently available now, and starting price is $649. Uh, so this is our ThinkPad Helix. It's 11.6 inch Ultrabook, full power Core i5, Core i7 Ultrabook. But what most other Ultrabooks can't do is now I can take that full Core i7 processor around with me in an extremely powerful tablet. We also have the flexibility here of a couple different modes. So I can also come here and connect it in what we call stand mode for impromptu presentations, watching a movie on an airplane, doing work on an airplane. And then I can go all the way down and now I have Tablet Plus mode. So this gives me 10 hours of battery life and some additional ports. So I got two USB 3 ports now. Um, ThinkPad Helix is a very unique product too as well. We've got integrated uh, pressure sensitive pen right on board. Uh, it allows you to use any of our pressure sensitive apps or any apps available in the marketplace. Um, also is NFC capable, wireless WAN capable, sort of the kitchen sink right here. So everything you want uh, in an Ultrabook and you've got it and also the portability of a tablet. So this is shipping in Q1 and with a starting price of $14.99. I'm here with Steven, and he's going to explain some of Lenovo's portable displays. Absolutely. For me, no disrespect to the other stuff you've seen, this is the coolest thing we have here. This actually is going after two problems. The first one is that most everybody have two monitors at their desk, but they don't at Starbucks and they don't on their couch. And also you have folks that want to get the Windows 8 experience, but may just got a new computer that's not touch. So you have a quandary. So we solved that quite quickly with our portable monitor. So 1.6 pounds. And with a USB 3 connection, you've got two monitors wherever you go. And even if my computer is not touch, I've got complete control of my PC over there. I have it in duplicate mode. It functions just like a second screen. So I can make it extended, I can make it duplicate, I can make it the only. And even if that's not touch, I have touch. So this is the usage scenario for me because I'm never more than three feet away from my computer. You know, I'm either sitting on my couch, I live in hotels, or I'm in a hotel room and I can do it. Now, even if I'm on a sales call, and I don't want to be the jerk that throws up PowerPoint on a big projector and nobody has a projector, you got to wait for it to power up. Um, if I've got a room less than five, I'll just put this, I have a hard case and a soft case, I'll just put this in front of the people that I want to do my presentation to. The challenge is we have a situation where people want more room than that. So, we did that in a wireless version. So I took the same industrial design, right, and, but I added a battery pack to the back. Now this is 802.11, so as big as your wireless network is, your connection is. So we're going, right now we're at four hours of battery life, but we're using the exact same pa battery pack as our tablet too. So that gets 10 hours. So by the time we announce, we're targeting better than five hours of battery. But anywhere I go, I have a mobile touch screen situation. See if I can back and click back into Windows 8. I'm completely controlling that PC over there via this. So you can think about this in a cell situation, you can think about it in a consumer situation with mom and dad only have one PC for the two kids, well now they both can have the experience. Think about it in a clean environment, maybe a manufacturing floor. I leave the PC back in the office where it's, where it's nice and clean and this goes out on the shop floor where it's dirty. There's no moving parts, there's no fans. Or a secure environment like a hospital. There's no patient data here. I can't steal patient data. I can't lose patient data, but I've got the full function of the PC here. So we're at 1.6 pounds for the wired. That'll be shipping in March at about 349. The wireless is about 2.4 pounds, and it'll be shipping in June. Okay. Do you have price points for each one? Yeah, 349 and 449. So, all right. That is the Windows Touch monitors. All right, I'm here with Ashley, and she's going to show me the Idea Center Horizon. Hi, I'm so excited about this product. It's one of the hottest ones at CES this year. What we have here is a 27 inch all in one PC, um, but it's more than that. So, in terms of the config for your Windows 8 needs, you can go up to a Core i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of storage, discrete graphics. You can really soup this thing up in terms of being able to compute for Windows 8. It's also got a really nice panel. It is 27 inch, it's multi touch, it's high def. So, you've got all you could possibly 
want an all-in-one, but then in addition to that, and the reason we call it a table PC, is because when you want to, you can go to another mode. It's called Aura, it's our interface, and actually this table is designed to allow you to pivot it back and forth, and the and it actually knows that when it's in more upright position, it should probably be in Windows 8 mode. And when you lay it flat to go to table PC mode, it's going to kick in this Aura interface. Now what's cool about this Aura interface, as you can see, is it gives you this nice wheel to be able to take advantage of all of your multimedia applications. So we can take a look at maybe some photos, and you can throw a few of those on the screen. We can have multi-users at once. I can pinch to zoom over here. I can toss you a photo and say, hey, check this one out. Right. You can pinch to zoom there. We can even play some video at the same time if we wanted to. So maybe I can be over here watching my own video while you're playing with photos and we're both taking advantage of this nice huge 27 inch screen at the same time in different ways. In addition to that we've got lots of games loaded here and this is what a lot of users love. It's the fact that we've got this opened up for a lot of developers out there. Big companies like EA and Ubisoft and others are developing. So we've got games like Monopoly and Air Hockey and Poker and all kinds of great stuff on here so really you can get this whole interpersonal communication bunch of users can gather around and make this your new gaming console as well so you're getting a ton of value for all of that you're getting everything you want in a all-in-one PC this aura interface with all your multimedia applications and then we're gonna add on some accessories that can make the games even more fun we have things like if you wanted to play air hockey the striker so you'd be able to use that on the screen we've also got um, here is a basically like a joystick, you can suction that right to the screen, be able to use that to control things. And we also have, this is my favorite actually, is an e-dice. So I don't know if you're like me, but when you play games and you hit the button to roll a die, you wonder, is that rigged? Did it really roll what I wanted it to roll? You know, like, I want to throw it hard, I want to throw it soft. This e-dice is paired with the machine, it has a G sensor, and you can actually really throw it. You can throw it across the room, and it's going to land, and where it lands it will register on the machine. So you feel like you were able to control something thing a little bit more than just pushing a button on a screen. So some of these accessories can make it a lot more fun too. So again, this is the Lenovo 27 inch Idea Center Horizon Table PC. And when will it be available? We are targeting the second quarter and we're also um, at that high-end config I mentioned with the i7 process are going to be around the $16.99 price point but the idea for pricing is to try to keep it similar to our all-in-one pricing structure. So if you were to go config any one of our all-in-ones in the lineup we want to be pretty competitive in terms of the price and we're still giving you all that extra value with the Aura interface. All right. There's a new eRazer um, gaming desktop so we're really excited to be in the gaming space. Always you can use a PC for gaming but this is a gaming PC so all the things you would expect it really looks sexy with a diamond cut design to make it look fantastic if you look around on the inside we're liquid cooled of course liquid cooled that means we're overclocking now we want to take some of the challenge of overclocking away so you don't have to do that in BIOS we have a nice graphical interface to do the overclocking then you're gonna have the um, the liquid cooled to do it we also not just on the inside we have hot swappable hard drives but we also have a, a tray on the top for hot swappable so up to four terabytes so this is a quad core i7 liquid cooled overclock ready hot swappable hard drive ready um, and featuring all the range of the GTX NVIDIA graphics cards. So this is a truly huge powerhouse and we're starting at $1,700. So really hitting the entry space of huge powerhouse um, gaming desktops with the Eraser. And that is available now? That is available by February, yes. And are you only going to do NVIDIA based GPUs? We're looking at the, we're also looking at the, um, um, the Radeon sign as well, the ATI's side as, as well. So actually I try to use both at home myself, so I have one of each, so I understand.